So you created a new selling account on eBay. In this video, I'm going to help you navigate through the back end of the seller central where you're going to be managing each and everything like your payments, your orders, your messages, all that kind of stuff as well. So before any delay, let's get started. So on the top right hand side right here, there is an option called my eBay. If you just simply hover over my eBay, you don't need to click on it. You will be able to see many options right here. All of these options option in the beginning like somebody recently used bid and offers watch list purchase history all of them have got to do with you ebay as a buyer you can keep a same account for buying on ebay you can keep a same account for selling on ebay i highly recommend keeping just one account so selling is something where you're going to be spending most of your time as a ebay seller so we're going to click on selling and i'm going to see you all the options that you're going to need to use as a ebay seller so before i go there i just want to take 30 seconds to talk about the sponsor of this video this video is sponsored by awesome awesome is a accounting and bookkeeping solution specially designed for e-commerce sellers like me and you they can help you with the company formation for little as 12 pounds they will do each and everything for you they will register a company they will get you a business bank account it will only cost you 12 pounds and they also have a bookkeeping and accounting solution specifically designed for at what level you are so if you're just starting out they have a different package if you're an established seller they have a different package which can suit your budget your needs all that kind of stuff as well i'm gonna put the link for that inside the description make sure you check that out so this is my test account on ebay on the tab where we are is called overview right here i'm quickly gonna also walk you through orders listing marketing all these tabs right here as well but most of the time you don't need to go into that tab because you can always come inside the overview you can see what you need to do and just get done with it so simply if you need to read any messages if somebody like a buyer send you any message asking about the detail of the products or asking for some sort of discount or anything like that all of them gonna show up right here so right now i don't need to read any messages so it says zero right here this is a, a, a pretty new account so i just created this one for the sake of showing you how this is going to work but if you need to read that message you just simply click on that one and it will take you to ebay inbox where you can reply to that messages if you need to dispatch any order if you need to post any order that one will show up right here in a waiting dispatch so depending on how many orders you get let's say you have a five orders then it will say five right here you can just simply click on that one and then it will show you like who have like uh, you know place out those orders it will show you the address where you need to post those orders all that kind of stuff gonna show up right here your sales from last 31 days gonna show up right here but the detailed breakdown of your sales is going to be down right here so your like today sale your last seven day sale your last 31 day sale your last 91 day sale all of that breakdown is going to be right up here as well now the next thing this is very very important called predicted seller level right now for this account it is top rated but once you create a new account it might not show anything right here but often sometime it will show up above standard this is where you're gonna stay most of the time like once you create an account on ebay the first one is going to be above standard and then if your performance is really really good then it's gonna be top rated and then from top rated it's gonna be top rated plus seller the benefit of that one is simply if if you are an above standard seller you're gonna get more visibility so let's say you list item on ebay it will show up in a search you're gonna get more orders but let's say you got the order you haven't posted that order you cancel that order you're taking so long to reply to your customer messages your products are not good you're getting bad feedback then that seller level can become below standard you don't want to be at that place because the visibility of your item will become less and you're gonna get less orders as well so always keep an eye on the seller level right here this one right here 
is a research recommendations. So research recommendations are basically eBay will suggest you something. Let's say they will say you can improve your title or you can improve like upload more pictures. You can improve your descriptions, all that kind of stuff. Keep an eye on this one. You will be able to see that right here. The most important one is going to be your task right here. You don't need to go like one by one in each and every section, but let's say you need to post the order or you need to read a message or buyer have opened a dispute or buyer want to return the item. All of them is going to show up in a task section right here. And you want to keep that task section empty most of the time. As soon as you need to perform a task, just deal with it and get done with it most of the time. Now on the right hand side right here, this is your order tabs. So let's say if I click on this one, I will be able to see all the orders that I have. This one, which I have the orders, but I haven't posted them, you will be able to see them right here. Next one, we got open all returns or replacements right here. So let's say you posted the item to the buyer and the buyer will open the return that they didn't like the item. They want to send it back. It's going to show up right here. And then you're going to have to go inside this tab and provide a return label to your buyer. Or if, if the buyer like they change their mind in that case, they will have to deal with the return label as well. The open cancellation one right here. So let's say a buyer will actually place the order down the line, they change their mind. You haven't posted the item and they want to cancel the order. It's going to show up right here. Awaiting payment tab is the next one right here. And this won't happen most of the time because anytime once the buyer will buy the item, they will make a payment straight away. But sometime, let's say you are like listing an item in an auction. Your auction is running for seven days and somebody like a buyer, they won the auction, but they haven't made a payment for that item. You don't need to post that item until that payment has been done but those sort of things will show up right here the next one is you have posted the item but you need to give a feedback to your buyer i suggest that you deal with it as soon as possible leave some sort of feedback for your buyer as well so all of that stuff is going to show up right here now down the line we have on the left hand side our listings right here so let's say i need to list a new item i'm going to click on create a listing as i said most of the things can be done with this overview tab right here so just simply click on create the listing and you will be able to see all the listing right here the next section that we have is called draft so draft is simply you were creating a listing you was listing some sort of item but you haven't finished it so you can save that one and then let's say down the line you need to add more pictures and all that kind of stuff you will be able to see that in your draft section and you can just complete that listing this is where it's, it's going to show up your active listing so all the item that you have listed and these are active for the sale they up they are going to show up right here listing with a question sometime buyer can ask a specific question to a listing so all of those questions going to show up under your listing and they're going to show up right here so those answers will be publicly available for each and everyone to read simply right here now the next one we got open uh, offers from the buyers like if somebody like sometime you can list an item on ebay and you can like leave it as a open offer so for example i list the item for five pound and somebody make an offer to me to pay 450 then those sort of options will show up right here all the auction styles listing that all the auctions that you are running i'm not biggest a fan of auction like i always list the item with a fixed price i don't really run the auction but if you have a off, uh, auction style listing it's gonna be right here as well all the listings that will be ending today will be right here all the auctions that will uh, uh let's say you said okay i I, I am running auction, but my minimum reserve price is 499. So if some somebody will say, okay, I pay you five pound or five P, then it is meeting your reserving price. So those one is going to be show up right here as well. All the listings that you have done and they are ending those one going to show up right here as well. But your listing can continue over the period of time. There is a setting that you will have to do. And I'm going to show you how to do that at the end of the video. The next one, you can schedule the listings as well and th those one gonna show up right here and this is all of uh, uh, about the listing tab right here down here now we got our feedback so inside the feedback you will be able to see the feedback from last 30 days how many positive feedback you got how many neutral feedback you got how many negative feedback you got all of that stuff is going to be right here this is where uh, again I'm gonna explain that a little bit the 
this one is your seller level because this is a very very important right now my one is a top rated seller it's a green but if you go below standard it's going to show up red right here that normally impact let's say my transaction defect rate is zero at this point and cases closed without seller resolutions is zero at this point as well what does that mean let's say i listed something on ebay and then buyer have placed the order for that one but i realized let's say i was drop shipping and my supplier doesn't have that item anymore i had to cancel the order that will impact my transaction defect rate so i will get a defect from ebay and it will show up right here you'd want to keep this one zero because that will impact your overall seller level so you don't want to be dealing with that you want to make sure the item was in stock the next one is this one is also very important late delivery date as well so let's say you are posting the item and the buyer is not receiving them on time or you posted the item late buyer said they have received the late delivery those are going to show up right here as well the next one is cases closed without seller resolution so let's say the buyer will open a return you're not giving them a return label and then ebay had to jump in and they had to refund the buyer that one is gonna impact your account again and that one gonna show up right here as well so these are the sections where you're gonna have to keep a really really close eye the next one is your selling tools right here these are not really something that you will have to worry about at this point but these are where you're going to be able to see your subscription where you, you're going to be able to automate the feedback where you're going to be able to see all the other stuffs right here i will explain that more in the ebay settings video which i'm going to show you at the end but these are something that you don't have to worry about at this point your monthly limits these are very important especially if you're drop shipping it's going to show up right here so right now i can post i can list about five thousand items which is a really decent limit and the value of those items it can be 50,000 these this is the limit but your limit might be very less if you especially have created a, a new account on ebay but you will be able to see those limits right here on this tab now the other thing that you will have to keep in mind which are going to be your analytics so your analytics are going to be on the right hand side right here so if i quickly move myself down here so you have your listing impressions listing impressions are number of times once your listing will show up in the ebay search that will count as a impression you want to keep these impressions higher your click through rate is going to be they show up in the search and the buyer decided to click on it this is going to be your click through rate listing pages views are going to show up right here let's say a buyer will open up your listing and they are looking at your listing those one going to show up right here as the store haven't made any sale in past three months right here because there are no uh, listings on, on the sale right here so the sale conversion rate is zero on the store but you want to keep those number handy i will i will explain like your click through rate is minimum 10 percent that's a click through rate is really good sale conversion rate anything above 20 percent is going to be really really good right up right here as well there are a couple of other settings as i said most of the time you will be able to navigate through anywhere you want to go from the overview tab but these all the tabs have a separate option as well you don't really need to go through that as i said most of the time you can navigate from here as well but there are a couple of options that you will have to be aware of so for example if i hover over the order tab same thing all the order gonna show up right here awaiting payments all the return cancellations everything where you can access through your overview tab these options are also here the listing one if you need to create a listing you can click here your active listing unsold draft all that kind of stuff is here marketing is something which deserve a, a completely separate dedicated video i will do that in a separate video and i'm going to link that somewhere on my youtube channel the shop is only going to show up if you will have a shop subscription do you need a shop subscription or you don't need a shop subscription i already have a video on that one and i'm going to put the link for that inside the description the performance tab again you will be able to see the summary of your performance your seller level your sales traffic seller metrics all of that right here the payment tab is going to be where you can see the summary of your payment all the transactions your payout like all the money which is gone inside your bank account you will be able to see that right here and you can print up your reports right here for the accounting purposes these are going to show up right here inside the research tab ebay already have their own product research tool called ebay tira peak you can use ebay tira peak for free right here and not probably not everybody gonna have access to it but if you have a business
business account, you might have access to eBay product research, Tira Peak uh, one right here as well. So this is really handy. And then the report section where you can download further reports for your accounting and bookkeeping and all that kind of stuff right here as well. So this is really, really handy for you to navigate through eBay Seller Central. I have a full course on zero to full time selling on eBay where I explain from zero to all the way up to becoming a full time seller. I have great testimonial. I'm going to put the link for that inside the description. But other than that, if you are looking for uh, not like we have a full lifetime support inside our course as well. But if you want to if you're somebody you think about, OK, well, I want to do the things for free. I can't afford to buy the course. Then eBay also they have their own courses inside right here inside the eBay Academy right here. You will be able to see them. But obviously those are not something which comes with the personalized help. But this is something where you can really check the depth of the water. And once you need to scale the business and you have a money to invest, then you can come to somebody like me who have 11 years of experience. Anyway, I'm going to put the link for that inside the description as well. Check this video right here because this is going to show you what are the important settings that you need to do as a new eBay seller. I'm going to put that video right here. Check. This is very, very important.